Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you to all the subscribers that are still with me and I really appreciate every one of you. Please keep writing comments. I've met a few new people so those people who still haven't written anything I'd like to know who you are. So I'm about to show you a flip through of a stacked envelope journal that I made with Notice Notes Spring from Joey Cardmaker. Now, Joey Cardmaker is a fellow South Australian, so um, it's just nice to meet somebody who is a creator of lovely digitals who lives here in South Australia locally. That's because that's where I live. Um, and before I show you the journal, I'm just going to show you some lovely happy mail that I unexpectedly got from Narelle. So thank you very much, Narelle, for your rack, your lovely happy mail. So she sent me some lovely little elements to use on various journals. Lovely different variety. They're so lovely. Very kind of her to send me some some happy mail, just at random. <clears throat> little ra uh, rack with random acts of kindness, if you didn't know. But this is part of a junk journal, Junksters Down Under Facebook group for us people in Oz to support each other. And she sent a lot of these things, this lovely craft envelope. I've not seen one of those before. That's really lovely. And this is a chipboard tag. Love all the little images. They're perfect for collaging or for putting on journals or um, journal cards or a little, like a, like a fussy cut that out and put it in the, pot in the corner as a decorated thing. There's a plan card, I like the roses on that. Some different things here to use. Lots of things to this. These look like stickers. They're awesome. That's nice. I like this little tag, little butterfly. It's cute. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's a circle there. Useful. Pretty, I like that too. A nice neutral background there. Some really lovely things here in the real, so thank you very much. And she sent me this really, I've taken some of those things out of this um, triple pocket that she has sent me in handmade ham ephemera, which is really lovely. There's a pocket there pocket there and a pocket there and if you wanted to you could even make that a pocket so if you stuck the sides down there and there and there oops, this one, there, there and then kept the back free to create another pocket that's really lovely I like how you've done the different layers there in the real it's really nice you should put some of that ephemera in the pocket so that I knew that it was a pocket it's good because I'm always, I never know what to make for pockets, so it's really good to get some ephemera like that. She sent me some text pages, book pages. This looks like it's come from a, one of those children album things. Nice big writing. And this one here, it's been cut, but so I'm going to be very gentle with it. I love the thing across the top, I might have to scan that. Nice small pages. Really lovely too. I like this little tea. The young man in the back. I think that's the story of Reynolds and this Reynolds. So thank you very much, Noel, for your lovely random acts of kindness. Happy mail. It's really nice of you. So like I said, this is I made this with a digital from Joey Cardmaker. And he makes some really lovely digitals uh, called Nature's Notes Spring. So it was one of his older ones. And it was looking a bit chunky. So <laughs> I put some of those things in an envelope here that belong to the kit that I didn't use. Like I'm just going to put it in the, in the tie here so that the buyer who buys this has that to use as they like. Um, not, so I probably should have done this tie a little bit differently come to think of it I think that the original one that was shown by Diane Thomas in the junk journal junksters down under Facebook group had this underneath all the envelopes I keep forgetting to do that sort of stuff 
anyway so there's all these different envelopes and I've used most of the images are from this nature's night spring digital and it's beautiful cover and because I made one because I used lots of pockets that's not from the kit it's something I had in my stash but I popped it in there because I thought it fitted too well so if I don't say so everything comes from the um, from the kit I used uh, quite a bit of Edith Holden text and pictures as well in this journal the stacked envelope journal So there's a little envelope there, and then there's some, something in the envelope. Surprise for the buyer. This is from this particular digital here, and underneath the rabbit is from Carol Cuts Designs. So we do that one, same thing. So this is all, <clears throat> I love the sort of vintage kind of feel. Sorry, I feel like I'm losing my voice again. Journaling card, these are all from the kit. So is that my favourite one with the daffodils on it? And there's another journaling card here. And this is from that scan from Cowcuts, but everything else is from D Joey's um, dig digital all the journaling cards and most most of the journaling cards and I think there's only one or two that are not made from the kit, so that's really lovely too. I like that one as well. And so I kept this as the background. Isn't that might be gorgeous. I kept this as the background. It's about spring itself, so I thought that would be lovely. And that's where I probably should have put my ribbon. It should have been under there, but that's alright. So it's a bit like that goes. That goes, that goes, that goes. Oh no, I did it wrong and I always do it wrong. <laughs> I think I still got it wrong. I just still have it wrong because I did the two together down the other end. That's why. Oops. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Then do the... I did do this one underneath the envelopes, kind of think of it. it was the other one I was thinking of. I think this is about the third one I've made of this kind. I quite like this sort of journal. And because uh, it has these pockets at the top, so there's a colouring in page there, and a big journaling card there. And recycled from another journal that I had. But I put the things in here are from the kit. Upside down, it's not helpful, is it really? It's come up twice. Lace that I had mustache. So from Peter's home pages. Billy band from the from the kit as well. This is from Witchcraft you do that paper. This is something I had mustache. There's also something else. This is that matches that. So that's why I use the envelope. Beautiful picture there. I've made it into a journal card. And I've got some little pull out tags here that's come undone. And stuck, I should say, not undone. I think I screwed it on too tight and it's not coming out now. The, the lid, sorry, I screwed it on too tight. Okay. I've stapled that on, that, I put that on with a paper clip because um, when I put it in the journal it was a bit too bulky so I just left it out because it goes on around that piece of paper like that. And paper clipped on.
So there's the, the other side of that card. Eve's home page. Triple pocket with lots of tags in there. In the middle of the journal. Isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Beautiful journal pages. Joey, that's, that's why I just had to get this kit. It's just gorgeous. Eve's home page. Mustache. Journal. This is also from Mustache. I made that for. Um, tag a day in February. Just really lovely, really beautiful. And this was in a storybook that I had. And I thought, well, the theme is sort of Easter, spring. So I, th I had this picture of Humpty Dumpty and I thought the colours all match. And I just had to put Humpty Dumpty. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> Popped it in there and made this journal card out of him. Just had to put him in there because he just made me sort of smile. So as you can see, just beautiful colours in this. Made a pocket out of one of the envelopes. It's a little booklet. Another journaling card, a plain one. And just sample card. So I put that behind the flap. It goes in there. Let's come unstuck. I think sometimes when I glue, I, I just glue and I forget about the corners. I think this happens a lot. And that's the back of the journal. And this is going to go in there like that when it's wrapped around. So beautiful, beautiful digital. Please check Joe Joey's uh, Etsy shop out. I'll put his link below and the link below for particularly for the Nature's Night Spring if I, if I can do that. I'm never too sure how to do that but I can put a link to Joey anyway in the um, description box and check his, he's got some really lovely digitals in there so check them out and um, see what he has to um, offer and if you're an Australian person support a local Australian creator. Thank you very much for being here today and we'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.